Hi guys. In the previous session, we have seen how to create uh, the tables uh, for um, the software which is having document expiries. So you can say document control system or document control management system. Now in the previous, uh, you can see this relationship window and we have tables. So what I did, I have created different forms just to enter the data. So document type is like driving license, vehicle registration, lease agreement, because this is a basic thing. So we need to enter definitely some test data. Uh, employees, Smith, John, Kerry, Kevin, issuing authority. So you get driving licensing authority, UK municipality, water, FN business center, Alicon insurance company, and so on. FN site, uh, this is for as we discussed in the first session that we have that Mr. John is working in uh, in a company having which is having three sites and he needs to maintain the record of all the documents like driving license of the drivers insurance cards social security cards etc so these are the three sites and plus i have created a form based on document tables so here in this form mr john is recording all the data doc id this is auto numbers for description doc number employee Mr. John, his driving license, issue date is 1-1-2014, expiry 1-1-2016, issuing authority, UK driving licensing authority, site London. Second record, lease agreement, carry lease agreement, expiring in 2018, Kevin driving license for minivan, Employee Kevin driving license expiring in within 30 days. So I have entered a few uh, test data. Now here on in this one you can see 11th June 2016. This is the current date disappearing there. So this will be helpful to test the data that if today is 11 June, so within 30 days this record is getting expired. Now what we need to that as soon as the user requirement is that as soon as the user opens the application and logs in into the application so a form or pop-up window should appear having expired records what shall we do now now this form is based on directly on the table there is a query right now what we will do that now we'll create a query Let's say start, start with query visit. Okay, so we need document ID. Uh, description we don't need for the time being. Document number we can take. Now instead of employee ID or document type ID, we need employee name and document name. So from this table, we'll take issue date, expiry date, issuing authority name we need again. So now we'll go to employee table and we'll select employee name. Uh, document type select document name issuing authority will select name site and then site name because of course user is not concerned with the IDs he is concerned with the names so qry doc expiring in 30 days okay now Keep an eye on this that this query is displaying all the records three of them so john carrie kevin uh, regardless of an expiry because we didn't put any criteria now we'll go to design view and now what we need to do this query should take out the records which are getting expired in 30 days so what we'll put in the criteria less than date which is current date plus 30 if i put less than date means today is 11th june if today is 11th june so the records which are already expired before 11th june only those record will appear but we want to include the records which are getting expired in 30 days so what we'll do plus 30 
so very simple words 11th June add 30 days into 11 June so that will be 11th July okay now run this query great now we have one record is already expired and the second one is getting expired on 4th of July okay so we will save this query and the next thing what we will do we will create a form based on this query okay form design let's go to the design view okay we will put a label documents expiring in 30 days okay and this let me uh, do because we need to make it in document ID document number okay whatever fields you want to select definitely you can do issue date then expiry date employee name okay and talk type whether it's a driving license or authority name authority name means issuing authority whereas if it's a, as we have entered the records whether it's a driving license issued by UK driving licensing authority or definitely based on your type of data you can enter the licensing authorities now what I'm doing here well I need to have I'm making it as a continuous form because currently this form is single form single form means that only one record is displayed at a time but maybe you have seen in other softwares where a pop-up window is coming up because pop-up window is basically just an alert that okay these type of records are getting expired or these are the expiring records so for sure if those records need to be printed by in the reports or, so that that is another process but just to make an, an alert window we can display all the records in continuous form so our don't worry our form is almost we are almost there okay I'll just add just the height and width of these short and then a line left okay and this one also size to the shortest and a line bottom and move a little bit plus this one a line top okay now I will run this form and as you have seen okay just to show you maybe you want to create a blank form and then later on you want to link it to a table or query so now this form data and the record source is QR my doc expiring in 30 days up one more thing okay frm now we'll say frm doc expiring in 30 days plus one more thing we need to make it continuous form save and then form view wow okay so so far uh, we have achieved what we needed to do that these are the records getting expired in 30 days okay so the requirement was that as soon as the application is run that form should appear so frm doc expiring in 30 days okay now it's saying that we need to close the application for which this is fine don't worry about that what I'm doing right now no need to get okay uh, just minimize this one okay okay now our this is the database 
PCMS. Okay, so this form is appearing. The only thing here we need to do is to make it a pop up form. Go to other pop up. Yes. Need to save it. Okay, close the application. Open it again. And here you can see that the form is displaying the records in pop up format. Okay. So this is how we have achieved our objective. Okay, so up to this level, this form is showing the records which are getting expired in 30 days or already expired. In my next session, I'll be showing you much more uh, functional database related to the same object, document control system, because uh, there are certain elements which need to be considered, such as the user wanted to have the records that are getting expired in coming 30 days or within 30 days you can see now mr john is handling let's say from last five years these documents so some of the documents are already renewed so let's take an example like this one this record driving license so once the driving license is expired it is already renewed but this document number shall remain there because this is an old record we should not delete this record so if we will not put any other functionality this record will still appear on the power form which is not correct because within 30 days this is the only one which is getting expired or there should be some option for the user if you want to include this record in proper form or not so in my next session I'll be showing you much more uh, feature rich database and I'll be explaining that the analysis of that database why we did that and how we did that those functional features and functions so for this session so far it is end of the session